Perfect. All right. Um, so these, the start of the meeting, I guess, is public comment. Do we have a raised hand from the crowd? Anybody, anybody? All right, I'm not seeing a raised hand. So um, I'll start with Chair Report, I guess. Um, the, I think the biggest news for us is about poetic dialogue. Um, as we discussed before, the reversal of, of um, Robert Frost and Emily has been very upsetting for some um, citizens of town and they've expressed um, excitement over this issue to <laughs> me directly and to town hall. They've been like calling town hall and they've been sending me emails and um, like doing some social media storming. Um, and I've been in contact with um, the artist from the restoration and he's like, I don't know how much I can say exactly on an open forum because of um, um, like, you're not supposed to talk about like medical stuff, but um, he is going to be fixing it. It's just a matter of his timing on his schedule on, on his ability to do the work that's involved in that. So like, worry not, it's happening, but it's just a matter of time. Have you let this, this person or persons know that we will be fixing it? Yeah, I've, okay. um, I've told them immediately when contacted. Okay. I mean, I think that's all we can do and, you know, apologize for the mistake. And, you know, uh, as soon as the fabricate or restorer is able, we will reverse it and put it back to the way it was meant to be. And thank you for the concern and, you know, I don't know that we can do much else at this at this moment. What even could possibly be done? We just need we need to reverse the the figures. Oh, no, I know, I know that yeah. that's the issue. So nothing else could be done except to do it, right? And yeah. then you said apologize. That seems great. I mean, fine. Did anybody notice that it was switched? I certainly didn't. A few people did, yeah, and they were very Nothing on our commission interested about it. Commission people knew. Is it, is it possible for us to do it ourselves? I don't know. No, no, no. You need like um like specialty equipment to do that. So it's like you gotta like cut them down like through the rebar and then like oh, weld them okay. back into place. It's okay. pretty intensive. Just beyond any of our skills i think or tools that we own the only um, the only other thought i have if um it's seems more urgent um i, I don't know what commit kamal's schedule is but um is if we could approach the dpw um if they could do it but um again i mean are, do you think with kamal we're talking months and months or weeks. I don't, I don't think it's going to be months and months, but okay. I can't say for sure because I don't like, I don't even know if he knows for sure exactly like what his uh, recovery time is going to be. Okay. How many people are upset? Um, I know that at least like three or four people, had, but they're like very, they have a lot of anxiety about it. There's definitely like the people that are into it are very into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad people pay such close attention. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to their continued enthusiasm in public art. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's uh, send them a, a solicitation for donations. <laughs> yeah. I, I... Um, yeah. So Shana, I, I'm sorry. You're sort of bearing the brunt of it. If, if you want help with anything, um, you know, writing text or anything, I, I can try to help you with that. But I, I mean, my my sort of initial feeling is just, you know, thank them and, you know, appreciate their interest and support and we apologize and, you know, 
Yeah, like James was back. talking about maybe like trying to get a little article about it or something, but like I'm not sure. I, I don't think for, if, if it's idea. three or four people that are worried about it, I do, if you put an article in the paper, you're going to wind up with 20 to 30. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And in my experience, frankly, I almost hate to say this, almost in a public forum particularly, but I have been just like keeping track of what happens when people in public controversies apologize. And the, I have noticed that what happens is it's taken as a mission and it just doubles down the criticism. It, it, it does not remove criticism, it makes it worse. No. But it is a mistake, and you yeah, know, it was definitely an honest mistake. mistake. <laughs> and yeah, it's a mistake, and it's embarrassing, and we're sorry. And I don't know what more we can do other than to say it will be fixed as soon as um, the artists. people are ready to fix the. You know, yeah. I'm not saying it's not a good thing to do. I'm just saying it's not a good thing to do for public relations purposes. Yeah, and, and frankly, yeah, you know, I don't think the Public Art Commission is responsible for this either no i i suppose some one of us I, you know we should have been there or somebody should have been there yeah. to oversee that the reinstallation and yeah maybe so yeah but like you know me everybody had work to do that day and it's like yeah. when it's a volunteer yeah, job and you've got work you just can't make it to all these things well it's anyway. like i would have liked to have been there myself even though i wasn't even the chair at the time but um, I had work because it would happen during the workday. Yeah. Well, I am sorry that, you know, people have gotten upset about it. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. It's been called a like a uh, misogynistic conspiracy. Oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Honestly, it's just an uh, honest mistake. Why is it a misogynistic conspiracy just out of? Because now um, Robert Frost is on the bigger rock. Oh, ah. oh, geez. And so it comes on. Oh, well, off. did they mention how nice. did they uh, did they ever mention how preposterous it is to begin with that they're sitting there talking to each other? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's like the art artsy poetic part of it. But, oh yeah. <laughs> you know, there's there's people that have passionate views in town about things. I guess that's good. That's always good. Yeah. Yeah. It's what makes town our town. Yes. <laughs> I, I like that. It adds a little flavor. Yeah. Well, that's too bad if they, they that shows they really feel bad about it. They'll get over it. I'm mm -hmm. glad. I'm glad. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. well, they'll get over it when there. it's fixed. <laughs> it's fixed. We'll get it fixed yeah. as soon as we can. And uh, yeah. And way, again, Shoshana, if you need support in anything, yeah, let us know. All right, thank you. It it's been a little rough. <laughs> you know, it's an evil right. lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let so me ask a question. Who's yep. keeping minutes? Oh, hopefully you are. I am. I just <laughs> didn't want to keep them if I could get out of it. Thank you. <laughs> That's why Thank I didn't you. say I'm keeping minutes. I was like hoping somebody would say I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jim. All right, and Jim, speaking of Jim, um, I've been in emails exchanges with um, Angela and she said that there's you definitely count even if you haven't been officially appointed yet because um because of the way things work they're they're in like a process of reappointing you oh okay if it hasn't actually already happened yet but that because that was like a last month that she told me about that okay But even though, you know, the pandemic is pretty much over, I think there's still a lot of crunch going on in town hall as far as getting all the different seats filled and such. Because I know for a fact, I met with a candidate a couple months ago now, and um, they filled out the forms and all that. Oh. They expect to be appointed. Any time now. <laughs> I 
and they're a great person. They've got um, some art management experience. Oh, that's good. Yeah. All I do is take pictures. All right, so, all right, on the agenda, I also have the North Common, um, which we don't really have any work going on on that right now because like it's not even really underway, but I have it on the inside that there is gonna be a tree hearing for the, for the Mary Maple at the end of the month, I think it was. Uh, and they said, it's actually really gonna happen for real this time. So that means they are pushing forward with the North Common and they've got the funding. I guess the funding has been strapped down in there. Oh. They're really doing it. <laughs> so our minds should be like getting ready to think about like what we can do with percent for art on that. But that's gonna be like a big thing. I, I, I think we'll have to work like very closely with the town and the planning board to figure out like how that's actually gonna unfold with the percent for art. Does the North Common um, qualify for percent for art? I believe so. I, Isn't it a million? It's a. I thought it is a million dollars or more. Is it? All right, I'm gonna have to check in on that. There, there we'll have to look, a, we'll a look at our minutes. Yeah, there's a significant right. limit. Um, yeah. For some reason, I feel like the North Common. Uh, I'm just making this up. Probably was like eight hundred thousand. I don't know. We should just verify that um, okay. that it qualifies because yeah, we'll want to get something something planned if it does. Yeah. All right, and then I guess the the big thing is the Boltwood Gallery project and the um, making it public. Those are the, the making it public is the one that's the $10,000 thing that we will be working with the um, planning board with. And Maureen Pollock, she's going to be like formulating a, a meeting with like a bunch of different people of like different aspects of town. And we're all gonna meet, you know, including at least me or anyone else who's interested in representing the art commission too. Um, and talking about like ideas for projects to use that because like the money needs to be spent next year, but the plan for how to use the money is due at the end of the year. Like the end of December. This so, is a percent for art project? No, this is a making it public, a $10,000 project that comes from, I wanna say the Mass Cultural Council. It's that one that um, that Bill got that training. He went to like this big training in Boston oh. with Maureen. Well, that, that worked out well. <laughs> could, could um, I'm sorry, cause I've, I've haven't attended a meeting in, in a little bit. Um, is there something to read about that? Or could we invite Maureen to our next meeting to fill us in on, on it again? I, I, I need a refresher. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk to Maureen. Okay, that would be great. Um, I just love to sort of remind myself what I, I remember Bill talking about it, but um, it fell off my radar. So mm -hmm. um, I just like to get a better sense of it and, and what is what we've promised in the grant and what we can do. And if, yep. you'd like, if you'd like me to look up percent for it, I may be able to find the limit easily. Uh, oh, and well, this is not percent for it. This is right. like, no, yeah, I was worried about this is making one. it public, which is a different program. Yeah, yeah I realized, but you know, was, I, I move slowly. Okay. <laughs> Did we get sent the grant? Did we get sent a copy of the grant? I haven't. I haven't seen like any paperwork on this at all, actually. I think well, it's all on Maureen's desk. Oh, well, if she can, sh you know, if there's a way to share it with us, yeah. then when I can't talk about things when I don't know what I'm talking about. 
I can. Yeah, I'm like good. I had a meeting with Maureen and mostly she was just saying like, we are going to be more of like an advisory kind of, like it's gonna be, we're gonna be contributing ideas and we're gonna be doing stuff like that. But as far as like actually like doing the paperwork, I don't think we're gonna be doing it. Wait a minute, so that's kind of discouraging, frankly. <laughs> uh, so we, we don't have any money coming to us and so we're not gonna have any actual authority. She said that we are going to have authority in this. Um, we're going to have like a, a big voice in the room for, for what the project is and how it goes. Are there any ideas floating around already about what it might be, where it is? Like, it, it, this is too vague for me. No, there's no... Okay. It's just, okay. Yeah, the the initial meeting that she wants to set up um, is going to be like a brainstorming session. Oh, where okay. We'll talk about like what would be a cool project or projects or what have you. Okay. Okay. Like my idea, one of my ideas is um, have like a like a art hike through the. Um, Robert Frost trail where like different spots on the trail have like different artistic interests you know like maybe of someone reciting poetry or a band or maybe some sculpture or, or like a some sort of interactive art project with autumn leaves or something I don't know just those are just like some ideas that I had for like getting people out on the Robert Frost trail and enjoying like the foliage during Foliage, like maybe during Indigenous Peoples Day, have like some sort of like autumn festival to draw people mm -hmm. into Amherst because there's a lot of money floating around um, out there in the world when from from you know tourist dollars to New England for yeah. foliage. So like you know why not? Yeah, is there any way that? we can like? get something out that would attract them to the other artistic things in, in Amherst and maybe have a, a, a tour of the other things we funded or something like that. Maybe a little brochure printed up that would explain all the different things that we've been fun, funding that they could go look at, something like that. So we could get a little, little publicity for ourselves and also for art at the same time. Yeah. See, the trouble is people, you know, I don't know that we're really that well understood. And if we could, we could do something significant while we're working on making it public that would promote the arts in Amherst and also get our name known in connection with promoting the arts in Amherst, it might help us in the future. Yeah, this has got me thinking maybe we need a brochure just about us, you know, like, right. who, who are we? What are we? What are we doing? Yeah, and a list of projects, you know, like we could direct them to the um, poetic dialogue <laughs> and stuff like everything that we have out now, we could have in in the brochure that they we could give them directions how to get there, and that would give a purpose to the brochure and make mm -hmm. it timely. We used to have a brochure. I mean, we still probably have copies of it out there somewhere. Mm. Um, <laughs> But when I joined the commission in, oh my gosh, six years ago, um, they had just printed a, a whole like walking tour brochure. Oh, that'd be yeah. good. I just heard about a man who moved here to, or, or either near, or a town near here, um, who is a freelance person who, it makes his living in something called dream delivery service. And um, you can pay him to deliver dreams to yourself or to other people, you know, for a reasonable price and for different amounts of time and stuff like that. And he's a great writer. So they're great dreams. You wish you had them. <laughs> but he, when he located here, he now he's planning to do tours freelance of uh, public art. 
And um, I don't know, I haven't talked to him personally. I, this was somebody told me about him getting ready to do this. Mm -hmm. And I thought that it'd be interesting to talk to him to see what he had in mind. Mm. You know, because because I don't think he even, he's not from here, so he doesn't know even what's available. So this brochure would have been something my friend could have given him that would have been a gesture of uh, welcoming him. So, yeah, so it sounds like a good thing to have. Yeah. So is, can we put our hands on the old one so it save us all? That'd be great. I don't know how to go about doing that. Uh, who's got access to the old minutes of the Public Art Commission? Is, is there a searchable database that we could go in and put brochure in and see if it popped up? Uh, the brochure I, won't be in the minutes. Um, yeah, and like the closest thing we have to that is our Google group now, which I've been putting stuff in, but that that predates the Google group thing, so it's right. not in there. I bet I bet Eric might have boxes of the brochures. I remember oh. I had I had a box because I put I put them at the museum and um, at Atkins and a few places around town. But um, yeah, I've done that too. I had the brochures and put them in places, um, but I don't have any left. Maybe uh, they're at the, oh, they're at the bid. I think. Yeah, I could see them having a box down in the basement of the bid or something. Yeah, I think that's where they got. I remember bringing them over to the bid. Oh, yeah. I'll um, email over there and see if they have any. That's right. I do remember doing that. So I bet they're there unless they got tossed. But um, yeah, somebody could like contact Eric Brody and see if he has them too by email. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the fact that we must have gotten them printed somewhere. And I would guess it was, it would be that place right on, um, right across from the common there. What is collective that? Copies. Are you talking about collective copies? Yeah. So I wonder if they would have like, you know, a PDF or something. Well, I, can ask, I can ask them because they, you know, I, they published my book, they, you know, the Level Express and that's out of the same place. Okay. So they yeah, know ask them. And I can check and see how many copies they've sold lately, <laughs> if any. I know I'm getting off topic here, but when I search for making it public in my emails, yep. which nothing came up, um, I do see from April that Bill submitted a grant to the Amherst Cultural Council for $5,000 for the portal gallery. Did we get our five grand? I don't, I don't know if we've ever heard, I, 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 yeah. I thought he got 2000 for that. Okay. Oh, he did? Okay, so that's not enough, okay. Which um, has to be our next thing that we talk about. We gotta talk more about the portal gallery. Okay. Because, like we're getting we're getting stuck at the trying to do the call for artists with nobody managing the actual call for artists um like there's like they're working on a thing in town at the town hall so that they could be able to do that for us that sort of thing but it's not built yet so that's not an option for this year. It would have to be like actually managed by somebody on the art commission. And it totally can't be me because I'm too bogged down in a million other things. Is there anyone that would want to take that on or would we be more interested in doing a targeted um, invitation sort of manner? And, and Bill is off, officially off the commission? Yep. Okay. So nothing has been done about it at all, except when we talked about it last time, which kind of left it up in the air? Yeah. Right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. And so what- in Other than I've talked to town hall, I've talked to the town about it and that they're, they want to be able to provide that service for us. It's just, it needs to be built 
that it's and not the happening. service would be the dissemination of the call it would be like the building of like the structure of it so that like it like the technical structure of it you know in cyberspace of having the place where everyone could submit their things and then they okay. you know and then they could be managed from there okay so they're going to build that and then use it and you want one of us to provide the copy that goes with that that meets the requirements of a public call no no i'm not wouldn't asking that of anyone right now i'm just saying if somebody would want to take that on they could or what's the it go a different route i don't know what, what is it the, is we yeah. don't know what the it refers to what do you take, mean What's you said they could you could take it on what is oh it? like a, a, like build an entire call for artists which would be like you know making a an internet space for people to submit or be or have it over your own email you could do it like and just have people submit files to your email but it seems like that would be a nightmare. No, you can't do it. I don't think this. I think something like this needs to be an official email, right. not a personal email. Right. Well, that's why yeah. I think it would be better off to do have the town do it that way. Oh, well, yeah, absolutely. Sort of, if they have them post their submissions on the town, then you need us to review the proposals. Is that so? If the town's willing to build a cyberspace where the artists can submit proposals, then when they submit yeah. proposals, if they could have it automatically notify us that the proposal has been submitted. And then if that's possible, that'd be great. And then one of us can be, or more can be designated to review the proposals and bring them to the committee. Am I accurately summarizing what we need? Yes. It's just that that doesn't exist yet. But okay. it's been asked. It's been asked of the town and they're looking into it. There's like ones that are already built that they could get like subscriptions to and they're reviewing different ones of those. So the, but it's like, it's not top priority for them. So I don't know. The next action item seems to be to coordinate with the town to get them to build or rent or have somehow acquire the submission space. It's a website. Yes. I I will tell you this. I have I don't know if this is crazy, but I am helping a teenager who is probably the brightest kid I met maybe ever. And I met a lot of really bright kids because I'm a mock trial coach at a magnet school for really bright kids. And he does web design for business for short money. So you know, if you were interested, I could see if he could build something for us, if the town would do it. I, I mean, it, it would be a way of solving budget problems if there are any, but he's untested, Yeah, 16 years old. Well, there, that is interesting because, um, you know, with the grant money, I could check with the cultural council to see if we could use some of the money to pay him to build this so that you know because it is directly affecting our motion forward on getting right. the the right art into the portal gallery right you would need a computer to host it on however and that would be the town's computer so i don't know if that's yeah. going to complicate everything totally I, my yeah. guess is they're not going to allow that they're going to want <laughs> they're going to want to do that um, yeah that's what I'm thinking, but the problem is I'm told that right, you know they're not putting a priority on it. We need it. What's the deal? When do we need it by Shoshana? I'm not entirely sure. It might be the end of the year. Okay, and and who is your contact at the town hall? Uh, Maureen Pollock. Uh huh. And she said it wasn't a priority. I can't say that she exactly said those words, but there's okay. definitely like bigger things on her plate to deal with, like really big things. Uh huh. So yeah. like my expectations are to be patient. Okay, so to backtrack, backtrack just a little bit. Um, 
when was the last time the commission put out a public call? It was probably before the pandemic because we used to put out public calls for the town hall gallery. And so how was that handled? It just went to one person's email, I believe. Someone? Or to, or to, no, I think it went to the info at publicartamherst.gov or something. I think we had, don't we have a general mailbox? That would be good to know. On the town yes. website? Yeah, yes. that would work. Why can't we just do that? The heck with the, the heck with the building the website in three years. Why don't we just create a piece of paper that's the call and email it out? I'm just you, checking. Do you put yeah, it? But well, then one of us is going to have to manage that, and it can't be me. That email well, yeah, gets forwarded to me. Let's not complicate things. If we just get it done, we'll get the manager later. That's my thought right now. If if we could have something on paper that was created that was sent, if we have a mailing list that we know where to send it, and if we have that email info at publicartcommission.com, then we've got the structure we need to get the job done. Then once we know we have that, somebody's got to be willing to look at the email that goes to info at publicart.com. Those are two. Yeah. But we do have we do have a live link. It's public art at amherstmass.gov. So that's good. Yeah, yeah. and that's those emails still, get bumped directly to my email. So that's essentially like emailing me. And uh, like I can't do that. I can't there are, take there on are, that. There are programs you can get that you can that you can tell that when you get something that has a certain ray on it to forward it to whoever. Okay. So it could automatically be forwarded or you could change who gets info at public art dot, you know, what was it? <laughs> public art at Amherst. You could change that who gets the emails and then that person could forward you the ones that you need and keep the ones that they need. So okay. Like Do we have someone that's willing to be this person? Um, I I can't volunteer to do something that I don't understand, you know, because I don't even know what it involves or how it's really set up yet. Okay. I'm happy to try to do something when I understand it, but not now. Okay, so let's get the let's get the uh, call to artist done. Let me see if this works for you. So we get the call for artists done. We've got the communications problem solved. If we have the call for art done, will that help you? I would like to read what your previous call for public art okay. said, because then I'm not starting from scratch or not having to do a lot of research that has already been done, I assume, by the commission before 2020. Right. So the next step is finding the last couple of calls for art so we can look at them. Yeah. So how do I, where's that? So we need to find that for the next meeting. Yeah. If if um, they've come through my hands, they would be in our Google Drive. Okay, so, Let me so see can you got. look at the Google Drive? And then I will look at some other place. We said there might be, what do we say? Um, other than Google Drive, where would it be? Um, in our Google Documents. Yeah, but forget those. Uh, for yeah. yeah, because they're probably too recent. But going back yeah. into history, where do we find this stuff? It would be in the minutes, right? Am I right? And where do I Possibly. find the old minutes? And so how do I find the old All minutes? All the minutes are on the um, town website. So I can go to the town website and just do a search for them? Um, I don't know if you can do a search in it. I have to look. I'm just mm -hmm. looking at the town website now and we have to take a lot of people off of our list because <laughs> we have a lot of people up here that are not members and- Right now? Yeah. But I don't Amy, mind going through the- Bill, Shelley, none of those people are still on. 
my term actually expired last year. <laughs> so, Mine expired yeah. this year, but they tell me I can, I, I, in a moment of insanity, I said I would re-up and so they're working on it. So if you, if you Google the Amherst Public Art Commission, the commissioners are James Barnhill, Ellen Keeter, Shoshana King, and Daryl Wire with uh, three vacancies. So yep. Ellen, you have volunteered without remembering that you did it. <laughs> they just said because of COVID, um, I could stay on, but okay. they, anyway, I don't know if it was a three-year term or I don't remember. Um, I don't mind as a project trying to dig through the old minutes and see if I can find calls for art in the past. I can also call Bill because he probably has. Amy access. would be probably the most. I'm looking yeah. here at the minute. Amy would be more likely to have that kind of stuff. Yeah, all the minutes are on the website. And Ellen, you're right. The me under member info, it lists all these people who aren't on it anymore. Right. right. Yeah, because I've got nothing in our Google Drive about it. Well, I think it's possible to find a call for Martin. If you can't find a call for Martin from us, we can find one from somebody else, I imagine. I'm Gigi, sure we can. Because Gigi's been on the mass funding. She knows everybody in the art field, my wife. And I could see if she can, you know, one way or the other. So I, let's say that I'll try to find one myself and if I can't find it in two weeks, I'll send an email to everybody and tell, tell you. Okay. okay, that's great, thanks. You know, there's a list listed on here is tour Amherst art destinations. And is that relevant to the brochure you all were talking about? Oh yeah, yeah. That sounds like it. There's also, you can download a printable brochure, it says. Where is it? Can you download that? Can you can you send us a? Can you put a, that link up on now? I'm, I'm just at, I'm I'm I just googled Amherst. I'm just at AmherstMass.gov. Oh, it's on website. Then I went to the public commission site, and then you can just flip through it, and you'll see all of this. And I I didn't uh, I didn't ever download that brochure. So. Oh yeah, here. Yeah, it's on here. So I don't know what it looks like. But oh. I'll look right now. It looks exactly like the printable brochure. <laughs> yeah, you, the, you, yeah, you can download That's it. That's exactly yeah. it. Yep. No, and can't when do that did y'all make this? I joined the commission in 2015 and it was just updated then. So that was probably the last time. Uh -huh. It's got a map and it's got, I, you know, if I, I've already got two windows up because I'm taking minutes. Would somebody be willing to email me that link or the brochure itself, please? Sure. Uh, I can't go digging. If I go digging and look for it, I'm going to mess my minutes up something fierce. I can send it right now. Oh, thank you so much. I'll probably learn something. Okay. So once we get the call for arts, we can maybe understand what we're doing like the next step is we need to know who to whom to send it do we know that among the four of us no i think normally it goes out in like um our our normal avenue for like any that like um the valley arts newsletter and our social okay. media and whatnot oh okay so then, so that would then the only remaining step would be culling the responses and voting on which ones we like. Right, but um, in order to make that plan, we've got to, like, we've got to. Okay, I guess the first thing is finding out like our timeline, like what what are we talking about like for when we want to get these people in here because they're going to need to know what they're applying for like as far as when we're, we're making our own timeline for yeah the, for the town the timeline is infinite if we do it ourselves you know like like in my law practice my motto is the best thing to get something done is right this very minute <laughs> 
any but we other have to spend the money right do we i hope we don't we have to spend the money by just the end of the year usually that's the case but they've been really lenient about extensions because of just how everything's been wild lately I, so I, I i'll would ask if we can get an this, extension yeah i would vote to push it to next spring summer well, why are you doing that because you don't think we have time to do it or you think or you're doing that because it's a better time to do it because i don't think anybody's stepping up to do this and um and manage it oh. yeah and like installing in december you know in the winter might not be well who, who's going to luring to artists you know <laughs> when nobody's going to be walking around and spending time looking at the at the portal right. gallery, whereas like people will stop and look when it's, you know, like spring and summer. Well, that's a good sounding reason that the timing for it is it has to be in the spring when people get out from, from the winter doldrums and then they'll look. Yeah. So who's, are you, are you, Shona, are you going to get that? Are you going to talk about the extension with somebody? Yeah, I'm going to, I'll ask the cultural council if that's okay. Which cultural council? Um, the Amherst. Okay. If if it is okay, we need to get it in writing. Uh, well, I'll communicate with them through email, and that will be kind of like in writing. And yeah. then I'll share whatever I find with the, you guys. Well, do is there a copy of whatever it, a document that tells us when we have to get this done and that, that we need to be extended? Is there work? I've never been given anything because it was um, built. I've got it project. all right. It came in an email um, in April from Bill. Oh, that's from Bill. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, this is just. I think that's just saying he's going to go for it, right? No, it's the grant we submitted. I don't think I have anything in writing that we received the money. Yeah, because I, like, like, I don't think we got the full 5,000. Okay, who should I, oh, I, who should I talk to to find out about this grant? Because I don't want an email from us. I want an email from them. It's the Amherst Cultural Council. Yeah, I want to talk to them uh, like about everything about this grant. Oh, so you're going to do that? Yeah. Get a paper copy of the grant, please, or or okay. just the, or electronic copy. I shouldn't say paper. We have we have the electronic copy of the grant. We do. It's in, it's in Bill's email from um, April fifteenth, twenty twenty-two. Oh, so I have Mine. that. Yep, you're on the email. Am April I in the email? Because it's really not ringing any bells. It's on your, you're on it too. And Dara's on it. And Maureen is CC'd. I will look at it just says, here's the grant we submitted for the ACC grant. Oh, no, I want what they said back. Giving well, it would have gone to Bill. We don't have, that's what I'm saying. We don't have that. Because what we sent them doesn't count for them. What they sent us is where it's going to say you have to do this by X. I assume, but I, uh, 422 with the grant proposal. That was just our submission. It's not the what you're looking for. Bill will have. Yeah, yeah. I've got the application, but not anything from them for like. So Bill will have the responses, correct? Yeah. I will call Bill and I'll ask him to forward to us everything he's got, except okay. of any significance for our records. And then we should get into some place that's permanent so that future people will have this information. Yeah. It'd be nice for it to go into our Google Drive. Right. right. But in the meantime, at least if he has that proposal, then we can look at it. I will look at it. I will see what we need to do to get it extended next September. I will tell Shona. Okay. How's that? All right. So you're going to do that? You're going to so tackle Jim that? Will call, Jim will call Bill, get records he has. Okay. Get proposal, the acceptance of our proposal. And send to you. Determine what we have to do to get an extension if necessary. Okay. Okay. 
I'm sorry, you guys. I have a one o'clock meeting for work, so I'm going to have to oh, yeah. jump off. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'll see you Thanks. all later. <laughs> Okay, spring 23, okay. Did we just lose our quorum? Uh, I think as long as we have three. Yeah, we only need three for a quorum. Okay. So we're good. Whatever happened to that fourth person who's waiting somewhere? I don't know, they never raised their hand. Oh, okay. So maybe we answered their questions in the, um, in the poetic dialogue discussion. Oh, maybe so, huh? So I expect that's what they were there for. Oh, let's try to avoid doing that in the future so they have to join our group in order to get their questions answered. Yeah. So, somebody asked a question, oh, yeah. well, join the uh, art commission and we'll tell you. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'll read again about the ACC portal gallery grant because that's like, also part of what we were talking about today, right? Tell me what you just said, please, for the minutes. Uh, I'm going to read again the ACC oh. Portal Gallery grant that Bill sent to all of us on April 15th. Oh, oh, great. Yes, please do. Yeah, that's his proposal. That's not the actual grant. Oh. Um, it says here's the grant we submitted. Right. For the That's, ACC grant. So that would be the proposal. That is not what the what we, I think is, that's relevant. I think it's also relevant what they sent back and probably more so because that's what we get to spend. Right. So Jim, you're going to find the, the actual from them uh, grant with the yep. deadlines and whatnot. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, I think I can probably do it fairly easily because if I can't figure it out, Gigi can tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Yay fast. for Gigi. Yay, Gigi. <laughs> All right. So I guess the next step with that is is you're gonna you're gonna contact the you're gonna talk, contact Bill and if needed contact ACC or should I contact ACC? ACC being Amherst Cultural Council? Yeah. But the, the grant he, excuse me, the grant he sent to us is to the Mass Cultural Council. That's a grant application, right? Yeah, yeah, the application is to the Mass Cultural Council. Oh, well, that's even easier because I think Gigi was on that. So the, is, the, is there, is that, wrong or is, are we talking about two different grants? Let me use. I was told that it was the Amherst Cultural Council. I to, will find out. But like the Amherst Cultural Council is kind of like part of the Massachusetts Cultural Council because they're the ones that like disseminate the funds. Oh, okay. So the, the yeah, I know. Like more locally, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the Mass now, Cultural Council is giant and then like yeah, every town I know, has I know their own. Okay, so we have the grant proposal. Jim will find the grant. Okay. <laughs> and no, it is you're you're right. The it's it's all from the Mass Cultural Council paper. Their name is on the top of every page. Yep. But it's to Amherst. Well, whoever it is to or from or with, I will get it. Okay. I hope. Yay. Asterisk, I hope, but I'm certainly yeah. probably, <laughs> this is kind of stuff more along the lines of what I do. That's good. Okay, so when you find that out, I guess like send an email to us and then um, and then we can start thinking about the this, how we're gonna do or who's gonna do the call for art. Okay. But I'm warning, I won't do it this week because I'm going to be there, right there on what's on the screen behind me. I'm going to be there for the next, for the rest of the week. Yay, for you. <laughs> you it's, it's very relaxing. 
it is extremely relaxing and very good exercise. Ah. And it's fun, fun, fun. What are you going to do? Are you going to be kayaking or, or no, fish? We're in a canoe. We're going to canoe in no. the middle. we we'll start in the middle of Long Lake and go up the lake and then go into that river right there. That's Racket Falls. And we'll go down. We cannot go down Racket Falls. We walk around Racket Falls, which is kind of the hard part because it's like three fourths of a mile uphill with a canoe over your head. But what the hey? <laughs> and then we come right. down, go and, you know, take out farther up the rivers. Nice. You know, camping out under the stars. Sounds great. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. That does sound great. I hope you guys have a great time. Well, that is great because this will be my 17th year doing it. Wow. Uh, so I do like No it. amateur you. Yeah, people keep saying, let's get a new route. And I keep saying, well, you know, if you get on a new route, something's going to happen. We didn't expect it. If we go on this route, that's not happening because I've already gone up. happened. I've done it so many times. There's something nice about seeing the same thing over and over again through time. Well, yeah. What? Yeah, I agree. Yep. All right. So the rest of our agenda, I guess, uh, social media i'm still posting on social media is there if anyone has anything that they want to um pop in on social media email it to me and i can get it on there and what kind of stuff would that be uh like if you see like a cool um call for artists or something that would be of interest to local artists that they should know okay. about like an opportunity okay. definitely that um, or if you see like some sort of inspiring article about a uh, local artist, something like that is good. If you see a cool call for art, please send it to me, you know, you know, because then we can put it in the package for what we're doing for the portal gallery. Yeah, I can, I can, I'll look at some other places, art, public art commissions and see if they have any. Yeah. Calls out. Yeah. yeah that's a good idea yeah and if anyone wants to take on um being a manager of social media i can't do that too <laughs> yeah it's, i'm it's already like one of those... i'm already managing four social accounts for other yeah. businesses yeah. it's like no yep <laughs> yeah i get you need that to recruit somebody yeah. else <laughs> I know, I'm like target somebody to get on the commission who's really good at that like a very young young maybe one of those high school students who how about a 16 year old Emily hey, you know we've got a 16 year old on the tree committee uh, you, have you, a 16 want, year old. you want me to ask fair I mean for us is uh, highly intelligent he's kind of quiet um, I could ask him if he wants to be on the public art commission. Yes, definitely. Specific that be and that will be his job. I'll tell him that right up front. Yeah. Because yeah, like, it would be great to have like a young perspective on top of it all. You know, it would look great on his resume, man, for college. Yes. Yeah. Because the kid we've got on the tree committee, he's like just vivacious. He is just inexhaustible. Yeah. For Russ is not vivacious. <laughs> He's not. He, by the way, just became an Eagle Scout. Just to... wow, at sixteen, that's yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> He's a go-getter. Thank you. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> so I got an indirect compliment. <laughs> okay. All right. I think. Okay. So I. Okay. Action items. You are going to square up our understanding of our deadlines and um, funding with the Portal Gallery grant. And I'm going to um, talk to Maureen to get a more clear understanding of um, when she can meet us for making it public. And you're going to ask for an extension for the grant money. Yeah. Like, well, first I want to have um, Jim go through and get more fine print on that. And then 
will ask. Okay. And I'll talk to Maureen again about um, screening for artists. All right. And I think that's it, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Is there any um, other business not foreseen before 48 hours of oh, the yeah. event? No. All right. Then um, have a great trip, Jim. And uh, oh, wait, wait. There actually is one more thing. I need a second signature on um, the invoice that I need to submit to the town for the DPW's part in um, Poetic Dialogue. Um, could I run it by you guys, one of you guys, homes, or you want to meet in town or something and just get a signature? What is the signature like, for? To, um, for the pebbles and stuff for the Poetic Dialogue. The DPW did some work there and- well, what is the, what are we signing of to what's above our signature of note? Um, that they're getting money, the money that we promised them for yeah. doing that. We're promising, we're promising somebody that they're going to get money? Yeah, well, for we them. already did promise them. And then this is to actually pay them. Cause like- Is this a request for payment to the town? Yeah. Oh, so what it is, is a piece of paper that we're signing saying, please send, pay these people, we owe them the money. Yes. Okay. And you signed it? Yeah, I signed it, but I needed a second signature on it. Where do you live? I live in Rolling Green. Rolling Green. Isn't that right near Amherst Woods? Oh, there, sweetie. Yes. Yeah, me, I'll sign it. Okay. Right. All right, then um, email me your address and I can pop over later today if that works. Sure, okay. Yeah, that works, right. I'll be here. Okay, thank you, that's good to know. Okay, bye, thank bye. you. All right, bye, we didn't move to adjourn. Oh wait, I, okay, I moved to adjourn. I second it. <laughs> aye. Aye, all right. All We're right. Done. <laughs> okay. See you next time. Right. Bye. Bye. Bye.